so we can win, right? Well, the Browns weren't buying into it, even though Achilles Smith and Peter Warwick. Serration of Tim Couch. Meanwhile, the Bengals picked Peter Warwick won this year. He's such an exciting player in motion. He played inspired for their new head coach, who is a great pro and is going to be a very good coach. Here's a completion from Achilles Smith to Peter Warwick, 18 yards. Tommy, are these the Bengals? Watch Achilles to Peter Warwick and watch the one hand. Oh, man. Man. First NFL touchdown for Warwick. They were a team that played with such enthusiasm when they came out. You can tell that they're excited to have Dick LeBeau at the helm, and I think that's going to be key for them. Two and a half years, and then played collegiately at the University of Oregon. Peter Warwick, oh, is he dangerous? He might be gone. Warwick, turning wide. He's across the 50. Speed returning at him. They try to get him. Will they get him? They will not. Peter Warwick. The great player from Florida State breaks the biggest play of the Bengals season. One of the biggest plays of the NFL this year. 77 yards. And it wasn't luck. He's that good. Well, we've seen all day that the Bengals realize they can't outrun the Broncos to the sideline, but once they get there and have to stop and turn around, Warwick can outrun them to the other sideline. And there you see Akili Smith leading him down the he sideline is. as an escort. All he needs is a flashing light, and he could be a cop on a motorcycle. Touchdown. Seventh career game starting for the Pats, breaking the New England mark of Julius Adams. Scott Mitchell starting for Cincinnati to Peter Warwick. Are you kidding me? 13-yard touchdown. 7-7, seven, seven, the first TD pass by the Bungles. Cincinnati, the Bengals, and Jaguars, they played in somebody's cornfield. 7-0 huh. Jaguars, but Peter Warwick will take matters into his own hands. He runs by all 11 Jaguars and will eventually take it back 82 yards. First punt return for a touchdown in his career. First punt return for a touchdown given up by the Jaguars. After a Bengals touchdown, tied this one at 14. <laughs> Takes a look, goes to the end zone. Got it. Peter Warwick is in the end zone. It is indeed a touchdown. Al Harris had a play on the ball also, but it's a 17-yard touchdown. Both players were in position, but Peter Warwick just shows the eye-hand coordination. Watch this ball goes up for grabs. Both guys get a hand on it, goes right into Warwick's chest, and he clamps it. You guys trying to make the tackle. Next play, John Kitten hooks up in the shadows with Peter Warwick, standing in the shadows of love for 34 yards. Get away with the Bengals at 13-6 with under a minute to go in the game, and that's a fourth and four completion by John Kitten to Darnay Scott. Now Kitten to Peter Warwick. Kitten focused, finds Peter Warwick. Some nice moves in the open field by Warwick. Bengals dominating in this game. 24-3, and Dick LeBeau, how you doing with that guarantee? Kick to kick to kick to down 27 to 20 at the 50. Complete to Peter Ward. Get, no, we can't get out. Kick, kick. Cincinnati's second leading receiver was Peter Warwick with 606 yards and six touchdowns. In 2002, Warwick flashed some of the athletic ability that made him a first round pick just three years ago. Across the oh, middle of the field, it's complete to Peter Warwick. Breaks the tackle, 20, 15, down the middle, right side, 10. Yeah! Touchdown, Peter Warwick! And Peter Warwick was spectacular. Throws across the middle of the field, flag there, got four. Inside the 15, right, in the 10, 5, down to the 8, yeah. goal line, touchdown! Nice effort. Good catch, good catch. It's key, third and fourth, the 8, Kitten. To Peter Warwick, touchdown! For 27-10. The Bengals are making this a laugher. John Kittnett, Peter Warwick, those touchdown. Bengals lead 34-10. The old days in Auburn, touchdown, we're tying at seven. Now, tricky Bengals. Peter Warwick, I remember when he used to do this. This reminds me of Peter Warwick when he was at Florida State. This was the kind of things he did. The quickness to get to the opposite side of the field. Gets a lot of yards right there. Run away where he was with his feet. Great job getting the feet inbounds. And Kitna, Peter Warwick, and early second quarter, the Bengals. Meanwhile, Priest Holmes drilled by a law for a loss by Kay Barn. And then Peter Warwick. 
It's Dante Hall who's gotten all the talk about return men, but not today. It was Peter Warren. Yeah, ran past the first wave. You can see those three guys, and then Jason Baker, the punter, just got spun around. Wasn't really of much help as Peter Warren. It's a 17-12 game, but how about this? Figuring the Bengals would sit on the ball. They figured wrong. Kidna, Peter Warren, could go all the way. 77 yards. And the look at Dick Vermeil says, you know what? I probably would have done the same thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Down 20 to 17. Kitna with some time. Low throw to Peter Ward. Montana to Rice. I mean, whack, whack. 14 3 Ravens. John Kitna, Peter Ward. Bengals making it a game. 14 10. See, he learned. He watches Monday NFL countdown. John Kitna, Peter Ward. Ward spins. First down on a fourth and three that the Bengals gambled for at about the 37 yard line with a 14 all game. And the gamble pays off because Kitten, how about that play buying time to Peter Warren? 21 14, Cincy. Kitten led, and his teammates followed. It started with John Kitten making a nice block. No short, no shortcut. It's on. Just like you got it. You know how to do it. Let's do it one play at a time. Receiver Peter Warwick once again demonstrated the skills to fill highlight reels. And Peter Warwick did his thing, making people miss. In tight spaces, Peter Warwick is tough to tackle. But in 2003, he also became a complete receiver. Warwick had career highs with 79 receptions and eight touchdowns.